Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me for my second review this weekend. Yeah, it's a holiday season. I'm trying to pump out some more content for you. Anyway, today I've got the Luminox 44mm F117 Nighthawk 200 meter quartz GMT. This is model number 6441. This is part of their GMT line, and I think it's a real stunner. I think it's a fantastic looking watch. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we'll get into this, but first, check out my Amazon shopping channel. If you like any of the other watches I reviewed on my channel, I do get a small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I really do appreciate it when you do so. So typical uh, Luminox watch box here, outer watch case. Let me see if there's anything under here. I don't think there is. If I can even grab the foam. Yep, nothing under there, just some foam. Actually, there's a little felt. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's a little felt backing here. That's kind of cool. All right, let's put the phone back. Here is the watch. First little look at it. Really cool. I love these military inspired uh, watches from Luminox. I just think they're really good looking, man. Really cool, nice Carbonox case. All right, so there's that. Let's see what you get. Paperwork wise, what do we got here? We have got Luminox. Uh, I guess this is like their manual, I'm assuming. Here is their registration, your warranty card. What is this? This is about the tritium and Lockheed Martin. This tritium, these tritium tubes, they, uh, they stay lit for about 25 years, which is really cool. And then they also have Super Luminova all over the watch. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. All right, so as usual, I'll go ahead and give you all the seven specs that you need to know. Then I'll put the rest of this stuff down there in the description field for you. Uh, it's a 44 millimeter Carbonox case. Uh, it's 14 millimeters thick. It's 53 millimeters lug to lug. It does come on a 24 millimeter Kevlar strap. It's got some leather lining underneath there. Of course, it is water resistant to 200 meters, which is 660 feet. It has the Ronda 515.24H movement. I'm assuming that means GMT, the 24H, 24 hour. Uh, they say a battery life is about 50 months. Eh, I mean, that's a little bit over four years. I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Uh, then, of course, you have a, uh, a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Let me get it off the watch pillow here. And let me show you the tag. I love these big, beefy Luminox tags. There you go, 6441 Luminox. This is like embossed in there. Love these tags. Really cool. So, guys, I think it's a great-looking watch, first of all. I'm going to light this up with my UV light. You're going to see everything. It's it's uh, it's a loom monster for sure. It's incredibly legible. I don't ever use a GMT function, honestly, uh, but some of you guys might. Uh, so it's real easy to set that GMT function. Uh, I love these Arabic numerals, uh, these big kind of military stencil style Arabic numerals on the dial and on the outer bezel. The outer bezel is a 60 click, by the way. Uh, I love the tritium. You got tritium on the second hand, the hour hand, and the minute hand, and I'm sorry, and a little uh, tritium tube on the GMT hand. The date window, I think it's really legible. It's a tiny bit small, but I still think it's pretty legible. The overall look of the watch is fantastic. It's almost like it's a blacked out watch, but not completely. I don't mind a blacked out watch, but I got to be able to read it. So if they do a black and white color scheme, I, I would much prefer that. Instead of like the indexes being black, the hands being black, the second hand being black, everything being black. I don't mind the case and the strap, but I need to see some visibility on that dial. Uh, big, beefy, kind of like um, like a Reese's cup <laughs> kind of uh, crown. That's a stainless steel crown, by the way. It is non-screw down, which really surprised me. This is a 200 meter watch. Uh, it does have a double gasket system, so you're never going to have to worry about it. I mean, there's tons of G-Shocks that are waterproof to 200 meters. They don't have screw-down crowns. There are plenty of watches that are waterproof to 200 meters that don't have GM, that don't have, I'm sorry, uh, screw-down crowns. So don't worry about that. Of course, you pop it out once. That's your date. Uh, you turn it one way is your date right there. You turn it the other way, and that's your GMT hand. Really, really, really simple. So if you want to track time in another time zone... Just use that GMT hand and, uh, of course, again, pull it out all the way, and that is your time. So what time is it? Uh, 428. So let's go down here. 
and push it back in. And there you go. Uh, bezel has no play to it whatsoever. I mean, it's, I mean, if it does, it's, it's a minuscule amount. Very, very, very little play to the bezel. 60 click. It is bi-directional. Did I say that earlier? I hope I said that earlier. It is a bi-directional 60 click bezel. Um, let me line it up there. There we go. Ah, crap. Uh, everything does line up nicely, which is, I mean, this is an expensive watch. I would expect it to. There we go. Uh, I guess the nice crown guards here around the crown. The crown is non-signed, by the way. Let me go ahead and show you the strap. Big beefy Kevlar strap. It's got like a, um, a leather lining underneath. Of course, you got Luminox embossed right there. Here's the case back. The sticker's still on it, but there is the F-117 from Lockheed Martin. This was the first plane that was considered, um, I mean, really considered invisible to radar. This was the first plane to be able to do that. And it, it, they did that by angling the panels on the plane so the radar just bounced off the plane. And if you look, they did that a little bit on the bezel as well. You got all these little angles right here. So a little bit of a nod to the F-117. You can see all the angles on the bezel. Really cool, man. So, of course, it tells you, you know, it's Carbonox, um, F-117, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, made, you know, Swiss made, all that good stuff. It tells you on the back. The rest of the strap. The strap is stiff. Uh, and, guys, I can try this on. In fact, I'll go ahead and try it on. But it's a little bit small for my 8-inch wrist. I think I only have, like, two... Two adjustment holes left when I put this thing on. So you might want to do a, uh, a NATO strap for this thing. Super light. It's only 62 grams. I mean, it's incredibly light. I love how light it is. I just, I would just need a little bit bigger strap on there. And the straps are, uh, they're 24 millimeter, by the way. Good looking. Watch me. Man, this would be killer if it was solar. Ugh. That'd be so cool. This was solar. All right. Let me go ahead and give you that famous loom shot. Now, what the uh, the UV light's going to do is it's going to kind of uh, activate the tritium tubes and, of course, obviously activate the um, superluminova, which is everywhere else. But let me show you this real quick. You can already see it's starting to glow a little bit. Now, when I shine the light on it, you're going to see that the UV is going to activate those tritiums. So there you go. So you can see the tritiums have the orange are on each index and it's on the hour and minute hand and second hand and the GMT hand. So there you go, man. And you take it away and man, this thing is a loom monster. Look at it go. Wow. Love it. And of course those tritium tubes are going to last about 25 years. Uh, they're going to glow with that brightness again for about 25 years. Uh, it's just bright enough to see in, in a really dark situation. So you don't have to worry about lighting up the bezel. I mean, you can, but but uh, you can definitely see everything. You can definitely tell the time with those tritium tubes. So pretty cool, man. Uh, only thing really is the strap is a little stiff. Um, not a big deal. That, that'll just take some time to uh, to wear it in. Or again, you could put it on a, um, a NATO style strap if you like. So anyway, guys, tell me what you think of this thing. Um, yeah, Luminox watches are expensive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they are Swiss made guys, and especially this one with all the tritium inside. I mean, you got a Carbonox case. It's a Swiss made watch. You get a nice Ronda movement. Kevlar strap. I mean, they don't cut corners when they make these Luminox watches. That's why they're a little more expensive than some of the other brands. You get quality materials. And I'm not saying that just because they sent this to me. I mean, you can feel the quality when you, when you hold one of these watches. Uh, again, that Carbonox case, the sapphire crystal, the tritium, the nice movement. I mean, it's, it's a very well made watch. It's going to last forever if you take care of it. Again, only thing I would do is I'd probably, you know, swap out the strap. Or maybe see if Luminox just has some longer straps, possibly. I'm not quite sure. I know they have some rubber straps that you can you could probably get for this thing if you want. Um, but, you know, it's up to you. So, guys, tell me what you think of this thing. I'd really love to know your thoughts. Uh, I've got another review coming up in a, in a couple days for you. Uh, you can get these over at Luminox for $945. I'll make sure to put that link down in the description field. Uh, and as always, guys, that's really about it for this one. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell if you like my content. I'm going to try to give you as many reviews as I can in the next probably probably two weeks. I'm going to cut it quits um, for uh, the holiday season for probably about two weeks. I won't upload anything, but I'll try to get as many reviews out there as I can. So, again, guys, this has been the Luminox. 
Uh, 44 millimeter F117 Nighthawk, 200 meter quartz GMT, model number 6441. Tell me what you think. And until the next review, I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.